Hey, everybody. Hi, it's me. Uh, <laughs> nice. You know, the producer's like, is everybody ready? Yeah, sure. My light's not on. I lost my map. Shit happens. Oh, uh, <laughs> welcome to our first of maybe two Halloween adventures. We aren't really sure. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc., uh, the uh, Calamity Edition. Uh, should be kind of fun tonight, kind of creepy, kind of weird. Uh, fortunately, I do have everything but the city map, so who gives a shit? Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool stuff, like these cool shirts, uh, nice phone case, duvet cover, uh, toilet paper roll, I think, maybe even, I don't know. We, get, we sell a lot of shit. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on the show, next Saturday is one shot. Tuesdays between the rolls, hit us up. M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. We will go ahead and get you on there. Uh, and if your game stinks, unlike ours, because ours smells like freaking success, but your audience is only, uh, grab yourself some adventure scents by oddfishgames.com. Uh, they have over 60 cents and they will make playing your playing experience much better. Speaking of much more gooder, if you want to write like me, only better, uh, try out their Shine system. Uh, coming soon, their RPG Shine system. Uh, and uh, they wanted me to let you know uh, that they are eagerly working to go ahead and get the fulfillment done on the Kickstarter for how to RPG with your cat. So keep an eye out for the emails forthcoming. Uh, so that is that. This is the Calamity Campaign. Where the fuck is Scott? Is anyone's guess? He told me he would be here. That's why we aren't playing the goddamn Halloween episode. So Scott, if you're watching, you best get your ass on here right now. Uh, let's introduce you to the other three who will be crippled uh, by insanity by the time he gets back. We will start with Rob. Rob, who are you and who do you play? Hey, I'm Rob. Uh, you can find me on the socials of Cthulhu. Rob, uh, doing my thing, yakking with people about TTRPGs mostly. Uh, and here on Murder Hobo, I play Dave tonight, I hope, <coughs> and uh, Brother Cup and various other miscreants in one shots. That's about yeah. it, really. Cool. Uh, Jesse, I'm go Bug you, Scott. <laughs> Jesse, you are up next. Uh, hi, I'm Jesse. You can find me on the socials at JR Wooey. Um, I am playing the uh, Leon and Ranger Azari tonight. Uh, or uh, other nights, the Australian War Dakota. <clears throat> One of our personal favorites uh, from the land down underwater. Uh, last <laughs> at the time, boys. certainly not least, is of course David. David, same questions, more different answers. More different answers. Okay. You Hi, did. everybody. Tonight I play Ingve. In our calamity campaign, he is the druid Ravenkin. Uh, also, uh, yes, I play Zadar in Cacophony, and on our B side of Calamity, I play the Rogue Scout Crow. So, get <laughs> Raven Crow. Get, so, anyway, uh, I am also a frequent panelist on BTR, especially I in Iron DM. So. So you'll catch me there or in a one shot here on Saturdays. So your next character me. is going to be a wear toucan. Yeah, that's it. A wear toucan. That'd be awesome. Ooh. Folks, fair warning. We are not going to be waiting for Scott. We are going to play. And I'm drinking Bahama Mamas, uh, frequent viewers of the show. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Realize that, that means it away. is a shit show. Uh, so <laughs> last week, uh, these guys were essentially tossed out of their the only home they ever knew ba after you know killing the captain of the guards not obeying orders bringing in um uh immigrants which clearly apparently no government likes that which is crap but uh the only immigrant <laughs> that is with them is of course dave's best friend peck peck uh, Peck Peck, of course, has nearly died three times, two of those uh, at the hand of Dave. <laughs> so that is just a love affair waiting to blossom. Now, Peck Peck made uh, lousy hunter in his language. Didn't he di actually die once and we brought him back? Yes. Once. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I think twice. he's pissed off at me for that. <laughs> he was... 
<laughs> and I don't remember if that was him uh, getting damn near gored by the boar because of Dave, him falling off the boat in the river, probably because of Dave, or last time because Dave hit him squarely on a miss. Uh, any one of those three could have been deadly. Uh, these guys spent multiple days crossing the grasslands, uh, and they have come up against, uh, well, they haven't come up against, they've come up to a village of whoppers. Uh, the whoppers are a mutated dwarven race uh, that have been allegedly attacking Ba. These guys uh, manhandled and murdered not only Doff, Scott, uh, but several members of the Whoppers. Uh, in their trials, they're trying to get to the city of Yor because Azari's sister is still comatose uh, because of an incident with a uh, ghost. They are trying to find an answer for her. They are trying to find an answer for everything else. Uh, now, it is late in the day, and you guys have found this smooth black lava road with yellow markings down it and you found an underpass uh several of you have drank water from the underpass uh there was what appeared to be a campsite uh that you called out to but nobody approached so that's a plus you didn't have to kill anybody uh you traveled over the overpass down the road a bit and there on the right side of the road is essentially a farming village. Uh, the Whoppers there are not heavily armored like the ones you encountered. You guys have opted to hide in the ditch and move about. Everybody go ahead and give me an insight check, please. You're doing a lot of those so I can drink. Okay. <laughs> 18 for Ingbe. And there was something that I was wondering if you would have the insight to notice. 16 for Dave. Um, 10 for Azari. Dave oh. notices things. He just has no idea what they are. And Scott, welcome aboard. Uh, hey, he made it. I need and... an insight check and your, uh, your thing, Base. your intro thing. Okay. Um, let me get my dice. Rock <laughs> here! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ingve. Ingve probably would have been a little cautious about the water, so he's going to cast Purify Water and Food over the, the water pussy, skins. Pussy. The water skins. So he's water putting two fine. and two together. <laughs> yeah, I, I like how you offhandedly point that out as soon as I start to say, oh, insight check or con check. Uh, Scott, I felt bad about the water. I know who I'm playing with anyway, but I, I drank anyway. <laughs> you did. Uh, Scott, who are you and who are you playing? I am playing um, uh, Rakir. I am a monk and I am late and I apologize. I take back one third of the things I said. <laughs> did he bring pizza? Oh. Uh, uh, the rest of us are drinking. So the, the audience mm -hmm. has already been warned. I am. Uh, into the Bahama Mamas tonight. Uh, Rakir, go ahead and give me an insight check with the others, please. And believe it or not, I actually rolled a 19. That's awesome. Dave. Odd. Azari. Even. Ingve. Even. Rakir. Odd. Uh, the evens. Look ahead. Uh, and some of the whoppers, the farmer whoppers, Kind of look over, uh, you guys have not been very stealthy. Uh, the two other ones, I believe it's Rakir and Dave, if I'm not mistaken, there is a noise behind you. Uh, like a metal on stone kind of noise. That Never requires heard. looking behind you. Behind you, you guys have come through this area. I'm going to need an investigation for both of you. <laughs> if you don't look, it can't hurt you. <laughs> yeah, it can't possibly hurt you. Never put your foot over the side of the bed because that's how the monsters get Not you. true. Peck, peck, not look for boar. Boar hurt, peck, peck. Peck, peck, uh, 
had a shit insight. So I'm rolling poorly already. <laughs> so right Dave, Dave wasted Dave. the first natural 20 of the night on an insight roll. Uh, what did Rakir get? Um, I, I, I am going to... Um, you, the, you, there is something... There is something behind me, more or less, is what you had mentioned. A, a, noise. a noise. I'll I'll turn around and try to hide a little bit if I can. Stealth check for you. Okay. Dave doesn't opt for stealth. So. No, Rock, it's a five Rock, on my stealth. Rock here does not opt for stealth. He grabs a handful <laughs> of grass and does this, hoping for the best. Uh, Dave. <laughs> You guys just came through here and you didn't notice anything, but upon your further investigation, you notice a strange cone-shaped rock. Uh, this rock is adorned with a large metal disc. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's like engraved and it's amazing. And it's the most metal you've probably seen since those uh, small houses in that one building. Mm. You want to work here, or what do you want to do? Back here, what is that? That is metal, and it's large, and I want some of it. I and I'm going to try to like bang on it and uh, see if I can't. You know, see what its purpose is. If there, are, if there are any inscriptions, if there are any, uh, uh, if it hides anything. Ingvay, Rakir's being silly. Oh. I don't have a spell for that. <laughs> There's a thing uh, with metal. Are you gonna Zoolander the cone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> My first 19 of the night, uh, Azari, uh, since Dave is talking to Rakir and Dave, or Rakir is talking to him and Dave is yelling, Azari, you notice. The farmers seem to have overheard. Uh oh, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, they, they take their farm implements and they start to head that way cautiously one of them bringing another one of those damn lizards with them mm, okay in oh, response uh, Ingve, no you do not have a spell to have him shut up Dave you have no idea what this thing is no um, but it looks it looks like the metal is capping the stone. Rock here. Uh, you notice the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <clears throat> what do you guys? You got trouble coming towards the uh, road slash lava flow, and you have this weird thing that you just heard a noise from. Okay. Uh, oh, Azari is going to step forward out of the grass towards the farmers, <clears throat> hands in the air in a sign of. Uh, Surrender, not like he's going to attack them. Um, and he's gonna he's gonna walk forward. Uh, fair enough. Dave, Ingve, and Rakir, what are you guys doing with this sewer cap? It looks like <laughs> a cap. Cap. Dave's gonna try and lift it off. Strength cap. <sighs> oh, um. Yeah. Dirty 21. Uh, you get it raised up uh, two, three inches uh, in this stench 
rises out of it. Uh, uh-huh. Do you have dark vision? Mm-hmm. Something is scampering down deeper into this tunnel. Hello? Hey. Oscar, <laughs> is that you? <laughs> King Bay and Rock here. What are you guys doing? Uh, MJ is like, oh shit. <laughs> he didn't expect Azari to start walking out like that. <laughs> well, you're focused on Dave and Rock here because yeah. the Bobsy twins are yelling. So Ingve turns <clears throat> to see Rock here and sees him walking up, hands up, don't shoot. And I'm just like, fuck. So uh, with that, I was just like, I point to uh, Rick here and Dave and say, sorry, he's making a move. <laughs> you cannot see Azari. He's oh, I out can't of the see. ditch. Nope. You have oh, no idea what okay. he's doing. All right. Yeah. Then scratch all that. Okay. Something moved down there. <laughs> here. Huh. Now, Dave. Dave now has can, a piece of metal. You can. No, it, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> you, you've only got it a couple inches up. Oh. You can see something moving around in there. Rakir and Ingve, do you want to investigate as well, or? Uh, I'll I'll help um, Dave try to lift this metal thing uh, and to try to get it moved out of the way entirely, so we can see entirely down this hole. If there is a god in heaven above, you will roll a one. Go ahead. <laughs> strength, <laughs> strength check. No, sorry, uh, thirteen. You two manage to get it lifted up. And as you do so, uh, you see a figure in the darkness. Uh, when Azari comes back, we're going to have him roll a charisma check. Ingve, what are you doing as these two are lifting the lid? Uh, as these two are lifting the lid, Ingve produces flame to produce light. Cool. I'm just holding it. I'm not, I'm not launching it at the person. I, my hand has just got a moat of flame in it, and I'm just. Hey! <laughs> if I roll a five or six, you are standing too close. Dave's going to get his face burnt off. <laughs> Very good, Azari. Uh, you raise your paws like you don't care. Uh, the farmers quite timidly uh, pull back and hoist their primitive farm implements at you and yell something yeah. in a guttural language, possibly German. Uh, but they do not approach further. Do you approach towards them? Uh, no, I will not step any closer. Okay. You hear a scream behind you. Uh, Dave, rock here. I need you guys to make constitution checks. Not saves. Just checks. I don't need to use my proficiency. <laughs> Stench most foul. <laughs> uh, 15. Uh, Dave, uh, as you're holding it aloft, Rakir has helped you, so you got a good six or eight inches on you. Uh, but with your dark vision, you notice a kind of fat figure rise back up and do this at you. And you turn your head uh, with yeah. your constitution check, and you have white powder down your face. Rakir, however, was looking right in, and he now has a face full and screams out, uh, give me another strength check, Rakir, or smash it down on this person's head. Um, Did Rakir just get a facial? This time. Uh, strength he, check, 15. He did, get, he did get a facial, a powder facial. So it's an old man. Oh my God, it's one of us. Uh, Rakir, you managed to, you know, you're blind, but you're holding this thing up. You aren't sure what's going on. Dave, Ingve, Rakir, initiative. Eleven. Uh, Fourteen. Three. Uh, Azari, go ahead and roll as well, please. Okay. Uh, 13. We'll start with the 14. 
Dave, with the exposed flame in your hand, you can tell that Rashir is covered in white powder. Uh, Dave just has one side of his head. Uh, Peck Peck was going with no one. He stayed his ground. So Azari is up. Peck Peck is down. You guys are behind. Uh, 14. Uh, Ingve, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, uh, Ingve's going to launch that, that mode of flame down the hall. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so, I, I'd like to ask a mechanics question for just a second. Sure. When it comes time to determine what Peck Peck does, do you roll a hundred sided die? And if it's a one, he goes with Dave and otherwise does whatever <laughs> else. We have already <laughs> determined that Peck Peck is not going to help you. He will not even piss on you <laughs> if you are on fire. <clears throat> Which may be coming soon. <laughs> he, he may hip check you in so that you drop the metal on your fingers. They've been in fire before. <laughs> anyway, so, shoot the flame in between Dave and Rakir and hit the hole using dexterity as your modifier. Okay. Oh, shit. Best game uh, ever. Best game ever. <laughs> if he rolls too, too well. <laughs> Maybe it'll lift the lid the rest of the way off. 18. Yeah. 18. The sewer gas ignites. An explosion <laughs> occurs. The metal disc <laughs> goes sky high like it's one of those dumbass idiots playing with an airbag. <clears throat> it just goes flying up. Rock here uh, and Dave, since you're closest, give me con checks again. To see if you can hear. <laughs> what? Uh, nine, thirteen. <laughs> thirteen for me too. Let's see if we're knocked prone by the freaking explosion. Probably. You aren't deaf. Uh, the it's like a jet engine. It just went straight up from the sewer gas. The metal is still rising high. Uh, give me a perception check, Azari, because you're 13. Dirty <laughs> uh, 20. You hear the scream from where Rakir was blinded. You turn like this. <clears throat> the metal is going up, and it's kind of arcing up and towards the farmers. <laughs> Oh, shit, we're going to start a war. You see just this quick wisp of flame extrude out of the, well, you didn't see it, but the sewer grate. Uh, <clears throat> and then it vanishes just as quickly. Fortunately, Dave and Rock here still have their eyebrows. Uh, you had the 13. You turn around. You see this. Uh, what do you want to do? Peck Peck is already diving for cover. Oh, geez. Um... I don't think that would, even if I shot an arrow at it, that wouldn't help. There's not, I can't. There's Maybe no it'll break. ricochet uh, and kill a farmer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say there's no deviating that. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I'm going to start, I'm going to kind of uh, pretty much uh, baseball player it. So I'm going to kind of like, I'm going to like point to the farmers, like I'm going to backpedal. But at the same time, like pointing up to the farmers to look at the, uh, uh, like point up to look at it, and then just like kind of like giving the motion, to, like run away or get out of the way. Do they understand you? Uh, run away! Uh, run as, away. as you back up, <laughs> dexterity check to make sure you don't trip over the proned out peck peck who's in the shit in the rice paddy in the thing. The nom over there. Uh, 16. Uh, 16. You leap down, feet on either side of Peck Peck. You look over, there's now smoke rolling out of this thing. Uh, a body part. A head, uh, a charred head lands at your feet. Uh, and, and on the other side of the road, you hear, oh, oh, oh do I kill a farmer. 
you just hear yelling, so you don't know. Uh, okay. Rakir, give me another con check to see if uh, you wipe the powder off your face because that was uh, a 20 you know right there. What that was a what 20. Oh, yes, you have cleared it because your hands are now empty. So you've got just just the eyeballs out. Everything else is white powder, not cocaine. Uh, you look, and where there was once a metal piece, there is just a smoking hole. Uh, to your right is Dave, also checking to make sure he has all 10 digits. Uh, and Ingve's arm is like shooting flame down into this hole. Uh, you hear screaming, yelling. Uh, Peck Peck is... <laughs> Saving Private Ryan in over in the corner. Uh, you had yeah. the 11. What would you like to do? Who has Rock the here. 11? Rock here is up. Rock here. <clears throat> Muted. Yeah, can I can I see the creature that had thrown that stuff at me? Nope, that creature's gone. <laughs> Zari Weird. might be able to help. <laughs> Heads up. <laughs> now, the only thing coming out of the hole now is just smoke and a putrid sewer smell from oddfishgames.com. Do, do I have any um, putrid sewers? I see. Do, do I have any <laughs> instrument <laughs> to be able to make a fire or a torch or anything like that? Uh, you gonna set well, more I mean, fire down there? Ass, I know. <laughs> yeah, sure. Go ahead. I, I'm sure you got something in your pack. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I have, I have some torches. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna not that stupid. I'm gonna back up a little bit. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> you sure. <laughs> I'm gonna back up a little bit, and I'm gonna try to 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 use my action to light a torch, uh, and um, um, get ready to throw it down the hole. Sure, fire in the hole. Fire in nice. the hole part two. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, to give you an idea how bad my role has been so far, you're up. I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> well, I rolled a one, but I, I have a plus two to initiative, so I was good. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, there's a smoking hole. The, your metal piece is airborne somewhere. Yeah, it, it went... Fortunately, it did not go straight up. Right. <laughs> well, I had to try and catch it. Um, so, presumably, my metal piece went off in that direction over there. So, um, and I'm pretty sure whatever was down there, I either it ran away when I said hi, or it ain't there no more. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna walk over to Azari and be like, "Hey, there's a hole." Fair enough. Uh, you notice that my head is right next to Azari's feet. Peck Peck is still doing the Matt Damon. <laughs> it's like Kyle. Uh, Azari and Dave, you can hear yelling, getting fainter, and then you just hear a clang noise. I'm listening Azari. for it. Ah! After the clang. Nope. No pain. Oh, okay. They all made their saves. So we will start with the 14. Ingve, you and Ruck here are the only two next to this hole that is still smoking because each round is six seconds. It's going to take a little bit longer than that. Uh, but you do notice if you look inside, there are uh, rusty old uh, iron rungs inside. You would not know what these are. But you surmise that this would make a good ladder. Right. Right. <clears throat> I point that out to him. But I, would, I say to Rack here, do you really want to go down there? <laughs> uh, fair enough. Uh, Azari, 13. Dave has uh, informed you there's a hole over there. Uh, Dave. A peck Peck is scooching away through the mud to get away from you. He's certain um, that whatever the metal thing was is probably going to land on him and kill him. Uh, hey, Zari, look, Peck Peck hunting for worms. 
Fantastic. Uh, Azari will look at the head um, that fell beside it. Um, is it like, does it look like one of, or is it just charred mess at this point? Uh, it's mostly charred, but you can tell it was a whopper male. Uh, maybe juvenile, late juvenile, maybe oh, late teenager. Okay. No, oh shit. Okay. Yeah, you killed a child. Yes. <sighs> um, uh, Azari it's not will, the first time or anything. Azari will go back over the uh, go back up on the other side of the ditch to see if anybody got hit or if the uh, metal piece that was flying through the air came mm. down yet. It came okay. down over there. <laughs> Three things. A, you do not see the metal piece. You surmise that okay. the noise was probably at landing. The farmers are headed back to their settlement. The pack animal creature is headed in the opposite direction from whence you came. So okay. it is on the run. Uh, you know, it was probably only something very important to the farmers, but, you know, maybe they'll catch it. Uh, other than that, there appear to be uh, no armed gathering, uh, no lynch mob headed to kill you guys. They are all running in fear because the great metal disc uh, flew through the air and attempted to kill them. And probably butt probe them. Hmm. It seems legit. Uh, it seems we've hmm. come out far better than I expected. Maybe we should make a hasty departure. I didn't know that <coughs> unknown flood metal object would fly. Uh, if Magic. you read it, it would have said Frisbee. Uh, Rakir, uh, you have the 11. You have successfully lit your torch. Uh, the smoke is starting to dissipate, although the foul stench is not going to dissipate until you get used to it. What would you like to do? I'm going to throw the torch in the hole. Sure. That worked real well. Uh, you loft it in. Uh, well, you know what? Hit it. Otherwise, you'll set the high grass on fire. That'll be about a, um, a 22. Oh, Easily. the village down now. You pitch it down, you see the light kind of go below your line of sight. You still see its illumination and then so the I'm sorry, is, say that again. Uh, the light was good for a short time, but then it extinguished. But it did not ignite again. No, uh, Ingve has already done the damage there. Okay, okay, all right. All right. Well, I'll, I'll suggest that uh, whatever lit on fire probably won't happen again. Do we want to investigate this or just bypass it and go on? That's to you, Ingve, because you're the only one there. Uh, <clears throat> if there's no other threat coming out of it, I, I think we should just move on, move the hell out of here. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> That's his answer. Uh, Dave, uh, Azari has uh, proposed uh, that we get the flock out of here. Sounds good. Uh, uh, do they still have the residue on their faces? Uh, Rakir does, and Dave does. Okay. Um, do I notice anything from the residue? Like, are they reacting to it, like their skin or anything like that? Nope. It was simple baking powder. Okay. Pocket singing. <laughs> it pitches salt. Uh, so <clears throat> I have Dave, Azari, and Peck Peck. I have Ingve and Rock here. Uh, Ingve and Rock here. Yay or nay on going in to descent. <clears throat> Uh, I turn to work here. Do you want to go down there or do you want to just join the descent? No, we'll, 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 we'll join the rest of the party. There's no need to go down there right now. Okay. So, Azari and Dave, uh, you notice Ingve and white covered face rock here walking over towards you. Peck Peck has had enough of the water in his drawers uh, and stands up and will be constantly pulling his drawers out of his ass crack because they're soaked. Uh, but 
he will stand with Azari between him and Dave. Uh, he will also notice that the farmers have retreated and do not appear to be a threat. Azari and Dave, Ingve and Rakir approach you, tell you nothing's there. We blew shit up, we left. <clears throat> so, so with all Follow five Lava together, to your. What do you want to do? Follow Lava mm -hmm. to your. Yeah, continue our way to your. Maybe we'll not have to deal with the community of whoppers. Did you guys ever see uh, the Warriors? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Remember when they took the Molotov cocktail and set the uh, shit on fire against the orphans? That's what you just did. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. So do you want to walk on the road or continue on in the ditch? It might be better if we continue on the ditch. Less, uh -huh. uh, be less conspicuous because we may have just murdered an orphanage. Are you taking the head or leaving it behind? I'll leave it behind. Okay. Uh, I'll, guys, I'll, I'll take the eyes. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Oh, uh, my God. You get one eye because the other one yep. is charred. Um, wow. And, and since you're good at it now, I'm not even going to have you roll. You guys travel about another hour and mountains start to appear in the distance uh, with that black lava path going right towards it. Uh, it it's still kind of dusky because it's summerish, uh, so you aren't really sure how long you've been going, uh, but you cannot see the settlement behind you, uh, and you can see that the lava path goes right through this crack in the mountains. So I guess that's a plus. Uh, Azari, from the maps you saw in... Uh, Gizba's place, you know that Yor is surrounded by mountains. Uh, as the light continues to fade, uh, what is beyond the mountains, uh, if you take a look, uh, it doesn't appear to be much. It just appears to be the night sky uh, coming up, moonrise maybe. Uh, well, not even that. It's kind of dusk. Um, but you're maybe... Three six hundred yards away uh, from this opening, where uh, the ditch will end, and you will have to get up on the uh, volcanic path. Hmm. <coughs> but, uh, we can, for now, camp on the outside of the path, um, and then make our way through in the morning, um, or we can get to the very inside of this. Once cave camp. entrance it seems and camp right inside the cave your choice uh, camp what's the weather the look like it's summer too. looks like Should it's gonna here. rain again <laughs> let's camp inside the cave camping in the cave uh, as you guys head that way <clears throat> Peck Peck steps on something that sounds metallic and looks down and brushes it off with his hand uh, guys, you might want to take a look at this. Hmm. We'll take a look. Uh, yeah. You go over and he's pushed aside the mud and this uh, very thin metal sheet. Uh, it, it's, it's damaged. It's got holes in it. Uh, but you can clearly make out, Azari, the word your on it. Is there an any arrows pointing to any direction, or no? Oh, there's a, there 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 are several letters. You don't understand what they are, uh, or mm -hmm. runes, if you will. Uh, and it's there's an image of two people shaking hands. Mm. So a city of uh, maybe a a place of friendship and maybe this is a symbol of the uh, unity huh. it is a very old sign hmm. you guys all take note of it uh you head up onto the lava path and there is a tunnel carved into the mountain uh the lava path moves in the lava trail is 
it is in real good shape inside. Uh, you notice uh, there's some debris, uh, some dirt, you know, because when the wind blows, it blows in. You notice that the trail seems to go in maybe 100 yards and then kind of jogs to the right. Uh, there are no offshooting uh, tunnels. Uh, it's just a straight path. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd oh. say let's go in about 30 or 40 feet, just enough where we can still get back outside for if combat necessitates it. Um, yeah. And set up camp. Engve okay. agrees. Rakir and Dave? Yes. Rakir? And... Yeah. Okay, we'll, you guys, we'll set you like guys... a, low fi a low fire, not a heavy campfire, but like a low fire, just enough to kind of keep predators away and such. Sure. Uh, you guys go in 40 and 50 feet. Behind you, you look. Peck Peck notices that the sun is setting rapidly, as it will do. Uh, and as you get to the furthest point in, uh, as you carefully brave this dark cave, uh, all of a sudden, bam, uh, it is just illuminated from both sides. Uh, very bright disks, if you will, are, point, are pointed up to the top of the cave uh, and are lining this tunnel. Uh, giving you very good visuals, uh, and you can clearly see that it goes that way. But it's al almost, it's not quite daylight, but it's it, its really kind of bright here. Intriguing. Uh, you find debris, tumbleweeds, dead bird or two. Uh, you don't see any bat guano. Uh, you don't see any signs of combat. You don't see any signs of death. It's just a cave tunnel. Mm. Are there any of those uh, just feel wary. metal houses in there, in here that we had seen before? Funny you should ask. Uh, if you go 50 feet at the 100 yeah. foot mark, right before it starts to make the curve, there is uh, an identical disc set in the black lava trail. Hmm. Well, we can use this. Let's. I'd say let's go in and use this house as kind of like a uh, a, a marking point for us, since we know these already. So you're okay. gonna try and lift it. Uh yeah, we'll try and use it as a see if it pops up or if there's anything that we can. It says that. On the disc, Mayo R Mayo Mayo your Mayo. your your and these two Mayor. runes. Uh, give me a strength check to prop open this thing. <clears throat> Dave will help Azari. Well, what advantage? <laughs> Uh, that's, uh, 18. 18's good. Uh, you lift it up. Uh, here's a smell, uh, not nearly as, uh, rancid, uh, as the previous one. Uh, the 18 will allow you to spin it off. Uh, there's a hole below you, uh, with the side lights, you can, you can, you can kind of make out that there is a hole here, uh, there's a, a metal bar okay. just maybe six inches below. It looks like a handhold. Uh, and if Rakir still has his torch, he can peer over it uh, and see that the handholds go all the way down. Uh, there is a small stream of water directly below, uh, but then the, the underground tunnel is circular uh mostly mm. and uh it goes below and it appears to go continuing through the mountain or back from whence you came interesting uh okay i'll put the slide the slide it back um do not put fire near that i've already seen the uh what happened before 
Um, but let's, I'd say it's a little the Zari, it would hit the ceiling. Um, it's best not as we are in a oh. tighter space and it may also consume us with flame, regardless of which way we go. Any base I make up starts to for, form a teardrop. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I said we'll move about thirty feet from that and uh, and make camp now or uh, away? no we'll 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 just away from that yeah okay I wouldn't want to camp down there after an explosion earlier so yeah uh, I'll need three of you to volunteer for watch Peck Peck will not take watch one. Two, three. Uh, Dave, uh, then Ingve, then Rakir. Dave, uh, you guys build a fire. Night passes uneventfully. Uh, you can consume the meat that you uh, had, uh, oh, wow. berries, stuff like that. It's starting to get a little rancid because it's been a couple days. Uh, you can hear the rain. Uh, from where you're at, it's okay, in Spain. Brought extra salt. Yeah. Uh, you are relieved by Ingve. Ingve, give me a perception check. Extra uh, salt always make rancid meat better. <laughs> Nine. Uh, you don't hear shit. Uh, the night passes uneventfully. It's still raining. Uh, Rakir, you relieve him. Uh, and uh, you tend to the fire, keep it lit. Every once in a while, check into the hole. Night passes uneventfully. Uh, the day dawns anew, and it is overcast. Uh, you are 50, 60 feet in from where you came in, uh, and you are at the bend where it goes to the right. New day, new start. Peck Peck still don't like Dave. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Never going to change, little man. Never going to change. Did those, uh, did the illuminated lights go off? Or did they stay, did the illumination still stay on or is it, did it dissipate? Uh, Rakir will report that uh, as dawn started to break, lights went off. Hmm. That's odd. Like, so now we're in more of a darkened tunnel. Yeah. Dave will go well, ahead. Let's well, let's we can light a torch <laughs> and continue forward. Uh, stay above ground, and then if need be, we can always double back. So, sure. Uh, as you guys move past the corner, it gets dark. Uh, so the torch helps you to illuminate it. Uh, every, everything is consistent in this tunnel. Uh, there's that dumbass yellow stripe going through. Uh, every hundred or so feet, there's another one of those metal things. Um, up ahead, you can see light filtering into the tunnel as it kind of snakes around to the left. Azari, my grandmother sang song about yellow brick road. Are those brick? They are lines, Dave. What's brick? See, or I do not know. Maybe your mother was from Kansas. Could be. His mother was from Columbia. I think the bricks <laughs> she had in mind were somewhat different. <laughs> yes. They're called kilos. Yes. <laughs> So, yes. as you Dave's guys... mother, Escobar. <laughs> Escobar is the family name. We never asked him what his family Geb, name was. Yeah, Geb, uh, Geb Escobar. Uh, Surname, yeah. That, that's why there's a lion with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. the, hip, the hippos were all taken. Um, as, you guys, as you guys move around the serpentine area, the light from the morning is just pouring in uh and uh it's it, it's kind of blinding because the sun is just rising and it's just burning a hole into your face as you look around you start to shield your eyes and a strange sight appears uh having lived in ba 
uh, and seen only the hydroelectric dam, you've never seen anything like what sits before you. The black lava goes down somewhat steeply and there is a valley here. The valley is filled with enormous stone structures pitted with openings. They're skyscrapers. Uh, and they're just everywhere. I, I mean, there, there are no bungalows. There are no two-story houses here. What you see in front of you is the Canyon of Heroes, like in New York. Nothing but skyscrapers. Strange wow. birds fill the air, uh, kind of floating around like carrion birds. Some of the structures ahead of you have those things that you can see through, windows. Uh, some are broken, some are intact. These, this main lava flow branches off into three lanes. Each lane goes in between these ginormous structures. Uh, you've never seen anything like this, uh, but you have seen uh, those small, tiny uh, houses that you found in that one building. Uh, some look exactly like that, while others are just painted a solid color, cars. Uh, and they are on the lava road, they are overturned, they are parked next to a structure. Essentially, whoever was driving them just got out and left. Uh, some of these buildings show signs of fire damage. Everybody make a perception check at disadvantage as you try and shield your eyes from the very brilliant sunlight. <clears throat> nice. I rolled a natural 20 and a nine. <laughs> my, my eyes are taking it hard because, you know, dark vision and all in that bright sunlight. I rolled a pair of threes. Yeah. Nice. So nine plus six, 17 for Ingve. So, yeah. Uh, I, I, a double A, I rolled two 18s. So, uh, 25. <clears throat> Azari and Ingve. Eight is my total. Yeah. There's movement down there. Um, but, but it's several hundred yards away. You cannot tell who, what, or possibly why they are there. Okay. Are there trees or things visible? There are no uh, trees nope. visible whatsoever. There are some vines hanging off the large structures. Hmm. Well, that means there might be animals we can hunt. There are. We need to hunt something. soon. We only have there's jerky. something down there. Hey, you guys are up on a hill. The well, city something. of city of your sits in a bowl. It's like Vegas, baby. Oh. Um. Maybe, maybe Rakir will use the magic monies to procure food. Well, I say we move cautiously. There is something down there. I was about to say the same. So, uh, From your high vantage point, you point out to Dave and Rakir what you're seeing. And you notice, again, every hundred or so feet, those metal discs are uh, in place. Uh, what Dave found before, those are also here. Uh, but they are on patches of dirt. <laughs> Surrounded by meshed metal. Um, maybe there was grass here at one point in time. Maybe a tree. No more. There is almost no greenery that isn't hanging off one of these buildings. So much metal. So much metal and... Uh, no plants. Tar and wood. Look at all guys, these uh, stone buildings. Well, look at these stone buildings that reach to the sky. They are... Like homes for gods. They're That's very, very thinking. tall. How Way many gods are tall. there? Well, in, in some cultures, there are a great many. In others, there are few. 
this may be home to all of them. <clears throat> so well, as you guys begin your descent here. down, you go maybe three blocks, get yeah. down into the bowl, and start to look around. Everybody go ahead and roll perception uh, normally, because now that you're low, uh, oh. the sun is kind of filtered by the skyscrapers. Uh, yeah. Uh, 23. Natural uh, 20. 20. 20, not natural. Rocky 11. Rangers, 11. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm still kind of the, the, the light still really got me last time. I'm still seeing, seeing stars. You're, you're astonished by what you see. You, you, you are truly impressed. Uh, as you guys go by, uh, Dave, Azari, and Ingve, you notice small critters uh, move about, but move quickly away when you approach. Uh, one such creature does not move away, uh, and it appears to be uh, eating something with its back towards you. It is maybe two, two and a half feet long, maybe uh, nine to 12 inches wide, and it has a uh, bare tail. Uh, it's got a patchwork of fur, uh, and it does not hear your approach. It is just under one of those houses that you saw in the garage car. Uh, other than that, you can continue on uh, where, speaking of gods, just ahead where the path veers off, you can go left, you can go right, or there is a statue directly in front of you pointing and the road goes around uh, and you can continue forward. What does uh, the statue look like? You'll have to approach it to find out. Damn straight I'm approaching it. Dave's in um, awe. You uh, bypass the critter? Yep. Okay. Uh, Azari will keep an eye on the critter as, they wa as he walk walks by. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I think Dave's, Dave's <laughs> magnetized by the statue if he sees it. Like, Rock here, what are you doing? And already one of my darts to throw at this creature that's eating the other creature just in case, but I'll stick a little bit close between like, I'm going to be in, in between Dave and Azari, ready to throw a dart. Okay. Uh, Peck Peck reaches over and stays your hand. I recognize that thing. It, it, it is no harm to us. Uh, what is it, Peck Peck? Uh, I call it an Asa. It uh, it feeds on the dead. Yeah, uh, that would not be a good it meal anyway. Keeps flies away. It's true, and other creatures that might feast on the dead. Uh, Dave is calmly striding right in the middle of this volcanic pathway, and goes right up to this statue. This god is maybe. 12 to 15 feet high. It looks kind of like you guys, uh, not a Leonid, but it looks like a human-ish type of creature. Uh, it doesn't have any hair here. It just has tufts of hair along the sides. It wears strange clothing, uh, and it, it appears to be holding a book, uh, but it is a statue. It is made of some kind of dull shiny ish thing bronze uh and and has a finish on it uh at just where you walk up to it dave you notice it wears strange apparel on its foot but the tip of the foot is very shiny you can reach out and kind of just touch it uh but the finish is worn on just the shoe the legs are kind of cockeyed so you can only reach this one shoe. Uh, the statue goes high above. There is a metallic plate on the dais that it sits on. Mm. Uh, Rakir, do you stay your dart? I'll, I'll go closer to this statue, this shiny statue. And um, I, I want to see if there are any inscriptions uh, or uh, anything along those along those like maybe identifying the name of this of this new god. 
you know, I, I, I know something about these things, you know, being so close to Gizbot and spending so much time. Uh, I, will give, with, uh, I will give you an Arcana check. I will give Azari an Arcana check at disadvantage. Does anyone else have primary learning from your background? I know Dave doesn't. Uh, Dave's a little less impressed by this book, God. I mean, anything that Ingve know, knows is through nature or the spirits that talk to him. So that's about so it. It's only, it's only a 10. I, I didn't roll well. Okay. Azar? Nine. Ingve. How yeah, you guys can't really catch there? your tails out of it. Uh, it's got a lot of runes on it, a lot of gibberish. Uh, as you go around, it, it's a, it's a, a cut stone, Diaz. Uh, it's about six feet high. And then this 12 to 15 foot statue is atop it. The lava trail goes around, goes left and right, or you can continue down the center of these exceptionally tall structures. But the they tells Dave is just like, uh, obviously there's many gods. This is a god that I do not know. Dave confused. This god, oh. the doors will not fit this god how do the gods get in their houses? Maybe it is just uh, a like an honorific to this god. Maybe it is it is made larger, or so that they know that this god controls this area. This would be his domain. Domain. Maybe so this god was turned to this thing. It's true. This good god could be. Yes, backpack. This god could have been immortalized. Well, or maybe a, a defeated god. The book Everybody god is defeated. Perception. This is god I'm learning. Man. Are you using the Wait. D20, Scott? <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm just really, really enraptured by this thing. Me this too. Is all blowing me away. I, I've spent so much time with the priests around Gizba. The idea of <sighs> other gods and other idols is just really blowing my mind right now. With my like with my proficiency and expertise in profession, I have a nine. Uh, 16. 16. 16. Uh, another wasted natural 20 for 27. Uh, you see two more statues ahead. One is on the right side of the road. One is a little bit further down on the left. Uh, on this level, uh, the clear openings are much larger, uh, but they are all jagged. As you look up onto these structures, uh, these look-through thingies go all the way up several hundred feet. I mean, it is huge. Now, the lava path actually doubles in width on the backside of this statue. Dave and Rakir, you notice that this also thing uh, that Peck Peck pointed out has moved along uh, and it kind of waddles away um not very fast at all doesn't appear to have any real armor uh and doesn't appear to give like a beaver shit. with a skinny tail yeah that you guys are even around azari and ingve have spotted two more statues shorter um ahead uh again you may go to the left you may go to the right or you may go straight ahead on the backside of the statue. We should see these other gods. I do not see why not. Let's look at these other gods. Ingve agrees and uh, he's looking wary. I mean, nothing is looking natural, so he's, he's not in the, his comfort zone. Do you want to look at the close one on the right first or the one further away on the left? Well, let's check the further away one. Yeah. Left. Okay. You guys move to the left and continue on. The lava road is flanked uh, by a raised portion of grayish stone. In this grayish stone are many, many cracks. 
every once in a while, you see just a tiny little piece of vegetation cropping through, uh, but not a lot. So it's almost like you're in uh, a uh, quarry. There's just nothing living here. Mm -hmm. uh, as you pass by, uh, you look over to the other side of the road. That particular statue is made of grayish stone. Uh, it almost blends into this raised section, the sidewalk, uh, but not quite. Uh, and it appears to be a female of some kind holding a lantern. Uh, that is all you can tell as you are on the far side. As you continue to move closer to this other statue, you are essentially a block away. The statue moves and begins to run in the opposite direction of you. You are 200 feet away from this thing and it is just hauling the mail down. What do you want to do? Gods move very fast. Is this thing as tall as the others or? Not even remotely close. It is, oh, okay. uh, it is more your size, actually. I look to see if the female god has, with the lantern is still there. Yep. Has it moved? Is it like our size too, or is this one taller? It's, a, it's maybe eight feet. Okay. Go chase after the, uh, turn and chase after the one that's running. Sure. We're going to chase the god now. Sounds like fun. Sounds like the president. Okay. Sure. <laughs> what it sounds like to me. Uh, who's the fastest? Uh, I don't know. Azari, I think. Uh, or Rakir. Or maybe Rakir. Wow, well, yeah, Rakir. Probably Rakir. Base boom in a 40. I'll oh, chase you. Yeah, use your monk's move. Rakir, are you going to go in pursuit as well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we're using and using the dash action man the whole way yeah. rock here just blasts past you like he's usain bolt you notice that the statue has moved in between the two large buildings and you lose sight of it uh as you get up there rock here you're the first one uh you notice a strange metallic object <laughs> sitting in the center of the lava road uh, and as you come around the corner, you can see that this individual is quite quick and is still about uh, 200 feet ahead of you. And it begins to climb this piece of metal on the side. Uh, this particular trail is much narrower uh, than the road out there. Do you maintain pursuit? Yes, I maintain pursuit. <clears throat> Okay, everybody else following Rock here. Yeah. yeah. Dave, Azari, Ingve, give me a perception check. Uh, 20, dirty type. 15. Same, dirty 20. 24 for Ingve. All three of you are watching Rock here's ass move quickly, uh, and you see him go to the left, chasing the statue. As you get to this intersection, you each happen to look to the right and you notice three figures running away from you. So Rakir and the statue are going this way. The other three figures are going this way. And every once in a while, one of them will turn. Uh, they have a greenish yellow tint to them. They look kind of like you, kind of like whoppers. Uh, you can't really tell because they are hauling the mail. Do you three continue to go with Rock here? Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Just use that instinct that we have to mark where they went so we can go back and try and track them if we want to. Okay. Rock here, you see your prey. You are just gung ho. Uh, this creature climbs like a freaking monkey and just right up this metal thing and kind of swings into one of those openings. You lose sight of it for just a moment, but then you see 
something come flying out just as you reach the bottom of this ladder. Uh, what would you like to do? What I would like to do, um, can I recognize what is being thrown? Um, can I recognize the size of it? Not you, Dig. D12 against me. That's head size. You might want to catch it. Three beats of two. Uh, it's a shiny object, and it comes out the window. If you want to make a dive for it to try and catch it, you may, or you can start going up this ladder. Uh, yeah, I will. If it doesn't look sharp, I will try to catch it. Uh, give me a two hit using dexterity as your modifier. My d12. 14 plus my dex will be uh, 17, dirty 17. You guys see Rockshire leap, oh, uh, outstretched, catches Tom Cruise's mom's crystal globe. Uh, this thing is kind of shaped like this, and it has a wooden handle. And as you catch it, there's a small piece of metal inside, and it claps against the metal. But because you caught it, it doesn't make any noise. Uh, the metal and the wooden handle, the wooden handle has uh, a great deal of wear on it, um, but you aren't sure what this is. Uh, by this time, Azari, Ingve, and Dave, you all catch up to him. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> Rakir is used to this shit. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll hand this to uh, Ingve and say, this fell from the sky, maybe an offering. I, I don't know, um, but I'm going to go chase him. So I run up the ladder okay. after handing the uh, thing that I caught to uh, Ingve. Or anything but a one on a nap or on a D20, Scott. Uh, rock here. It's a nine. Hey, uh, you're moving up there. <laughs> You know, it, it, it's, it's there. It's there. Um, as you do so, you see a, a silverish pot come flying out the window. Um, Azari, Dave, and Ingve, give me perception check. Uh, plus five, 16. Uh, 15 for Ingve. 16 for Azari. Yeah, all three of you uh, see this metal pot come flying out. Dave will try and catch it. Give me a uh, two uh, hit. Similar to what I have. <laughs> two hit with dexterity. What? Does it look similar to the thing right here? Plus four, seven, 17. Yeah, you catch it. Uh, it has a residue on it, a baked on residue. It smells uh, constitution check, please. Oh, sure. Uh, that's a C11. Uh, eh. you could probably eat this residue. Rock here, you are right up at the window it's and the head pot, of the statue comes out and starts screaming, Gaga! 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 Fuck. Uh, you I'm may, sorry, shoot it! You may try and grab it. You may try and hit it with a dart. Or you may try and leap into the window. How 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 high up am I? At your one story, so about twelve feet. I'm going to try to grab it and then fall gracefully, and have him brace my fall. Oh, very nice. That's uh, always worked well for you. <laughs> yeah, human sled. Uh, give me a two hit using dexterity. Oh, that's uh, be a twenty-two. You grab a hold of some cloth, and you notice that this creature, uh, kind of greenish, kind of yellowish, kind of a mix, kind of like mottled skin. Um, you grab it. It puts its hands on the sash. Uh, roll against me strength versus strength. Okay. Nat 
20. <laughs> One. Oh. oh. <laughs> you grab a hold of it and try and yank, but you fall over to the side, hanging on to this thing's robe as it has its arms on either side of the opening and is just uh. yelling, Kaka! 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 Uh, Azari, Dave, and Ingve. Dave holding a pot, Ingve holding a bell, Azari holding himself. Give me perception checks. <laughs> um, 13. 11. 17. Dave, that pot is awesome. And you start Isn't it? to. You start to move off some of the charred stuff. And and while you are not a fan of Italian, the pasta tastes okay. Mm. Ingve, you're trying to figure out if you can use this thing as a club. And Azari goes, uh, guys. <laughs> and he points ahead of where you guys are at. And several figures appear. Uh, mm. Rakir, as you're struggling... To hang on to your prey, give me a perception check at disadvantage. Uh, dirty three. Nope. Uh, you were just hanging on for so that's life. a one plus you, two. You, you don't notice jack shit other than I hope this guy doesn't bite me. Uh, down below, Azari, you see. Ooh. Five figures shamble out from an alcove down the way. Uh, they are greenish yellow, kind of mottled. They don't move real well, but they begin to sprint and utter in guttural language. Ah, ah, and they are waving their arms uh, in a predatory fashion. I will take initiative from everybody. Peck Peck is on the deck with you guys. 21. Six for Ingbe. Rakir Azari? Uh, 20 for Azari. That's a 23 for, uh, for Rakir. Finally rolled a 20. 15 for Peck Peck. Uh, 23. Rakir, strength v strength against me. Kaka! Kaka! Eight. That, that's going to be a six. Uh, this thing is pulling back, uh, which is good news for you because you were starting to get dragged into this window, uh, which does not have any broken glass, uh, but you are slowly being pulled in. Uh, below... I don't know if your associates are yelling yet, because the first one up is Dave. What are you doing? Oh, um, I guess, like, I'm going to put that pot out of my mind, drop it right there on whatever I'm standing on, and um, fill my hands with an axe. <laughs> sure. Uh, uh, these, uh, these creatures are hell-bent on disaster for you. They sure look like they're trying to attack me to me, so... Uh, they are not in melee range at this time. I'll, I will. Um, Unless you want to charge. What do you mean? Unless I want to charge. Bonus <laughs> action rage charge. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> if. <laughs> I, I will let you attack at the end of this round. Next up is 20 Azari. Uh, which, where's the nearest one? How far away are they? Uh, they are very fast. Uh, There's five of closing, them. Closing, and there are five of them. Dave, uh, axe over his head, just frothing at the mouth, going ape shit, left his Squish! new pot behind. You can charge okay. and engage at the end of the round. Is there any or uh, missile weapons? I'll use missile weapons. Um, is there any space to get like up? Uh, that would be like climbable or some space that would, that would allow us to get off of the ground. Rock here uh, used the uh, ladder. Uh, also, okay. you notice Rock here is 
has his legs dangling out the window. Help me, help me, help me. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm being repressed. <laughs> uh, shoot. How how far up is the ladder? Like how how? The, the ladder scales about four floors, and then it, it's kind of weird because there's a separation. Uh, uh -huh. Rakir is on the first level, so he's twelve feet up. Okay. Um, okay, I'll, I'll focus on the creatures for right now that are coming at us. Sure. Um, Missile uh, weapons I'll, or charge and melee at the end of the round. I'll bonus action Hunter's Mark, the nearest one. Sure. And then uh, I will uh, fire my missile weapon at it. Sure. Okay. That's a uh, 14 to hit. That hits. Okay. D6 plus D8. Uh, two. Uh, 15 points of piercing damage. Uh, that is number three. Okay. Yep. And, and then my second attack. Uh, that should hit. That's a 20 to hit. Mm -hmm. Uh, same one, and the second attack is 20 points of damage. So 35 hit points brings it down. Uh, it just kind of crumbles to the ground and is in a heap. Uh, next up is Peck Peck. Uh, I'll tell him to try and get up the ladder. Uh, Dave ain't up the ladder, so yes, I will head up the ladder and save Rakir. Uh, save Rakir. Uh, 14, he is climbing his ass off. Uh, 11, Dave, uh, you and I clash together. There are two of them on you. Uh, you hit them as they hit you. I will let you go first. Sounds good. The attacks will be simultaneous. The attack is a natural 20. Nice. I need to get another 12-sided die out here. Um, it's going to be... Uh, let's see. 26 points of bludgeoning and 5 points of radiant damage. On the same one? Yep. It's all Third. one attack. Okay. Are you done? Oh, wait. Actually, no. Sorry, you have to add two to that. I forgot to add my rage damage in. 33. Got it. Yep, 33. Yep, that's it. Uh, uh, I guess I could bonus action punch him if I wanted to. But No, I, I raged. Never mind. I used my bonus action to rage. Uh, the one whose head you just chopped off punches you uh, with an 11 and 19, so 14 and 22. Yep, the 22 hits me. Take four hit points of damage and give me a con save. Okay, I'll take two save. hit points of damage. Yep. Ooh, good, because I'm proficient at those. Uh, constitution save. Oh, that's nice. That's an 18 plus six. 24. Uh, the I-Core splashes your chest. Uh, I love it. On your arm. The other one uh, leaps for you. With a 16 plus 3, 19. Does that hits. get you? Yep, 16 hits me. Give me a strength save. A strength save? Yep. Uh, 13 plus 4, 17. Oh, wait, sorry. I'm also proficient in those. Uh, plus 6 is 19. Yeah, plenty, plenty of time. Uh, take 6 hit points of damage, but you do not get knocked prone. 41. Uh, Ingve, uh, there are two closing... Possibly on you or possibly on Azari, but they are not in melee range yet. So okay. you will be stuck with missiles. Okay. The one that looks more apparently coming for me, I'm going to cast Moonbeam upon them and they will have to do a constitution save. Squishy, squishy, squish, squish. 14? Mm hmm. Oh, plus three, uh, 15. 15, okay. Yep. I think he takes three. half. 
Uh, let's see. Silvery bean. Yeah, it's going to take half a, of the damage. I got to roll for damage. Now, is what does Moonbeam do? It's a silvery flame, like moon flame, spiritual flame. Okay, fair enough. Okay, uh, let's see. This is not the vampire, so you're safe. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so, half of eight, four. Four fair radiant enough. damage. Round two, rock here. You're getting your ass dragged inside this building. Uh, there's not a whole lot of ambient light in here. There's a lot of clutter, a lot of debris. <clears throat> what do you want to do? You can just relax and let them pull you in out of the window, or you can try and fight them off, uh, hoping that you don't fall. Well, I'm going to make one last yank to try to, and it is my intention to yank him out of the window and fall together with him on the ground. Sure. That is, that is my intention. And I will try one more time to do that. Strength versus strength. Eight. That time I rolled a 14. Yep. You bury your feet in the side of this strange stone and give a yank. Give me an acrobatics check to see if you can land on him like it's R.I.P.D. Yeah. <laughs> acrobatics. Oh, I'm plus five on that. Yeah. Uh, that's a 17. Uh, you yank off, do this flip into the air a la uh, Kung Fu or Hong Kong Fu, land, but you land right on his chest. <clears throat> the collapse uh, because he's falling prone. Actually, she is falling prone. Oh. Splatters to the ground. She takes a murder hobo damage. Uh, and mm -hmm. Uh, give me a D. How much do you weigh? About 115 pounds. Give me another D6. Ooh, that's a nice little murder hobo. Yeah, you feel her ribs crunch underneath your feet as you plant both Ooh. feet into her chest. You suffer no damage whatsoever. She is dead. Uh, just as Peck Peck. Oh, does it land on Peck Peck? Nope. Peck Peck swings into the window. Okay. Uh, as you land, you see just her eyes bulge out uh, and blood froth out of her mouth in a small fountain. You notice, holy shit, there's creatures over here that kind of look like her, but kind of not. Uh, next up is Dave. Dave, you've still got one on you. Not for long. Uh, you can tell that it, its face is mottled. Uh, there's chunks missing out of it. It looks like it's pretty dinged up. Dave Squish. Uh, 19 to hit. And we're going to have... Um, 15 points of bludgeoning damage and seven points of radiant damage. Me too. And then I'm going to bonus action punch. A 17 hit. A 17 does hit. That will do. Where's my D4? <clears throat> Three plus six is nine points of bludgeoning damage, and I'd like to grapple. Go ahead. Strength versus strength. I've got a 17. I have a 19 plus one, dirty 20. I don't get to grapple you. Uh, Azari, uh, one of the two remaining on you and Ingve is beeline and is in front of you. The other one is in front of Ingve. They are in melee okay. range. Okay. Uh, I will. Again, I will bonus action move my hunter's mark to the one that's in front of me and uh, switch to the short swords. Okay. Okay. Uh, does a 16 hit? Yep. Okay. 
it takes in all uh four seven uh eleven <laughs> points of uh uh slashing damage. Eleven? Yep. Fair enough. Uh Peck Peck screams out. Look out! Look out! Uh Ingve, you're up. Uh Ingve's keeping oh, that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're not up. Oh, okay, Ingve yeah. doesn't just yet. <laughs> uh Azari, uh the one uh does a double punch on you. 17 and 12, so 15 and dirty 20. Uh the dirty 20 hits. Give me a con save and take five or six hit points of damage, rather. Con is plus four. Uh, dirty 20. Okay, you are covered in uh, crud, for lack of a better term. Ingve, you have one on you. It does the double punch. 18 and 10, so 13 and 21. So the 21 hits. Take three hit points of damage and give me a con save. Uh, con is 24 on the save. Okay. You have heard Peck Peck scream, look out, look out, look out. You have a creature on you. What would you like to do? Uh, the Ingve is just going to take that mode of flame and just beam it into its face. <laughs> Shit. Uh, 13 plus one. You said con, right? Yeah. Uh, 13 plus three. So 16. 16. Yeah. So uh, half of 19. These fucking things are durable. Nine. 13 total damage. Uh, top of the order. Rock here, still uh, knee deep in your new human slippers. You look up and see Peck Peck screaming, look out, look out, look out. He is pointing from the way you came. Uh, you have two adversaries ahead of you, or I'm sorry, three adversaries ahead of you. And hold on a second. Dave, I forgot to attack you. Oh, yeah. Please. 15 and 17. 18 and dirty 20. Both of those hit me. I need two con saves. You've got them. Uh, 10 damage. Pair of fours plus uh, one. 25 and a 20. Okay. How much damage? Uh, 10. Total. Uh, it is bludgeoning. <laughs> So if you're, I can't remember if bludgeoning is halved on you or not. Yep. Uh, rock here. Look out, look out, look out. Adversary, adversary, adversary. Peck Peck's pointing the other direction. I, uh, I, I walk the other direction slowly, dragging the head of the, the foe I just vanquished. You don't even start to walk because as you turn... You notice what can best be described as a horde of these things barreling down the alley towards you. Uh, give me an insight check. Oof, that's going to be a 12. There are like 30 of them. <laughs> and they are hauling the mail. Uh, you guesstimate that it's going to be two, maybe three rounds at best. Um, you guys are in for a bad day in your. <laughs> Give me an insight check. Rock here. Yeah. That's going to be a nine. <sighs> You might be able to take it. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, Ruck here. Yeah, so um, I'm going to um, um, throw the body, um, you know, the, the one I just killed, kind of throw him down, 
um, prepare a dart. Um, oh, that should go well. <laughs> yeah. And um, wrong, right? do like do like this and. <laughs> Fair, fair enough. Well, uh, yeah, you're imagining the guy from uh, from uh, Princess Bride right after he said, "Yeah, my uh, Inigo Montoya." Count Ruga. <laughs> Count, Count Ruga. Ruga. <laughs> Count uh, Ruga just. Now, are you going to run towards the assailants on your friends or go up the ladder? I'm going to run towards the assailants on my friends, uh, and screaming out behind us, behind us. And um, uh, trying to make them aware of, of, uh, of um, you know, what's coming. Uh, you have enough speed with your dash. I will give you an attack or I will let you blow past them, uh, your friends and the uh, associates. No, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll blow past them in order to get into a, <laughs> in order to get behind, uh, in order to get behind their assailants. Bye, Peck Peck. <laughs> Rock here. Do you want to run past Dave, Azari, or Ingze? I'll run past Dave. Uh, they kind of slash their hand at you, and you go right underneath and just whoo whoo. <laughs> uh, next up is Dave. Finish him. I think. Uh, that was rock here. Yep. Look out! Look out! Look out! Uh, just pure chaos here. You still have uh, an assailant in front of you. Looks pretty beat up. Uh, twenty-two to hit. Mm -hmm. That's um. Let's see. Ten plus six, sixteen bludgeoning damage, and yep. that's a murder hobo. So six plus one, seven points of radiant. Yep. You cleave off an arm and a leg, and it just flops down moving around um rock here seems to be in a hurry uh azari I'm gonna try and catch up with rock here and go what the hell okay azari uh i'm gonna look in the direction peck peck was pointing sure. uh um, there's a horde what? coming <laughs> oh fuck uh, you look over I your think... shoulder see peck peck <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go make a break for the, uh, I'm just going to stop fighting uh, this creature and I'm going to run past it and go for the ladder and just start telling Peck Peck to climb up, climb higher. Sure. Well, Peck Peck is inside the building. Oh, I'm just going to go where I'm going to climb up the ladder and follow up to follow behind get with Peck Peck. I'll take a single attack of opportunity. Okay. 11 plus 3, 14. Nope. Much like Scooby Doo, you escape. You run towards the horde, grab a hold of the ladder. Uh, give me athletics or acrobatics, your choice. Uh, acrobatics is a little better. Uh, 21. Uh, you scamper up like your life depended on it because it does. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, let's see. Good news, Ingve. Uh, Azari's uh, creature is now going to aim for you. So your original creature, uh, 13 and a 2, so 16. Uh, 16 just hits. Okay. Give me a con save and take dose hit points. Uh, con is uh, 12. Uh, this thing's spitting on you. It almost got you in the mouth. The second one comes from the side. Uh, three and an 11, so 14. 14 misses. Okay, so this creature doesn't get to you in time. You hear, look out, look out, look out. Saw Azari bail on your ass. Saw Rakir go shooting past. And saw Dave running to catch up to him. You have two on you. Uh, you have a choice of retreating and trying to hit the ladder with, you know, opportunity attacks or go ahead and risk opportunity attacks. Um, 
so where where is Rakir? Is he running to go charge the horde, or is he up? He is running away from the horde, past the ladder, past the window. He is going deeper into the alleyway. Oh, crap. So, and Azari's going up. Correct. Split the party! <laughs> we never do that. Okay. Uh, what could go wrong Twice anymore? or three times a session. <laughs> <laughs> all right but you're uh, the only one and you got two critters on you and how close am i to the ladder uh am I within you, yeah. 20 feet or yeah you you were the same distance away as azari okay so you can break off like he did and go for the ladder they will get one or two opportunity attacks depending on the die roll okay Odd one, even two. <clears throat> Between me and the creature that's attacking me, I'm going to cast Entangle. Okay. So it's a 20-foot radius out in front of me. Mm -hmm. And uh, bonus, I mean, take my movement up the ladder. Uh, you will get even. Both of them caught in Entangle. Do I get a save on that? Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. With Entangle... That 20 and a 7. <laughs> okay. One of them is restrained, so it's a strength 14. The other one is going to just rip out one of the vines and whoosh, try and hit you. Okay. With a 2. <laughs> Misses. <laughs> so you break He's free. not proficient with vines. You have, <laughs> you have a horde coming at you. You have two behind you. You run over to the ladder, acrobatics or athletics. Uh, Don't worry. If you fall, you can re-roll a character up at level one. <laughs> <laughs> your okay. last moments will be your inner dream. <laughs> Bonus action. I wild shape. Uh, now careful uh you you've taken your movement you've cast yeah. a spell i cast a spell i haven't if, moved if you, you, well, moved you, to you the headed you oh headed to i the headed ladder, to the ladder right? okay never mind then. so so if you bonus you won't climb the ladder right right so I'm I, not gonna... I, I, yeah i wanted to point that out okay I, first. I forgot that i had said i'm going up the ladder mm -hmm. so so i've now, committed you don't have to the ladder to. you don't have to you could run over to the ladder and then wild shape, and okay. then they, your last thoughts would be you as a bear being eaten alive. <laughs> no, no, no. Anus, anus tastes good. <laughs> so do you want to climb up or fuck it? I'm in for penny, in for pound. I'm going to fight. Uh, do I have? I mean, if I turn into something that runs very fast, I mean. What'll happen? <laughs> You'll be running directly at a horde of undead. I mean, what about, am I close to the direction where Kier was running? No, you're at the other, other. he went blowing past you. He's going okay. deeper so, into so, the alley. So he's way behind you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, if you wild shape, you can wild shape into a Cheetah, but you've already made your movement. <laughs> right. Right, that's true. So that's I mean, where yeah. you're your initiative is six and mine is eleven. Cool. I'm up the ladder. <laughs> Acrobatics or uh athletics. Okay. Uh la la la. Okay. <laughs> they're they're the same, so either or. Sure. Uh that would that would be eleven. Ooh. You get to the top and you slip. Uh, D12 against me. Okay. Ooh, can I use my reaction to try and... Uh, uh, like 11. Grab. Uh, D12 against me, Azari. Okay. Four. 12. Uh, you start to slip, Ingve, but you feel Azari grab you. Uh, the fuck you aren't falling. <laughs> <laughs> the horde is at the bottom. Ah, ah, ah. 
they should be getting entangled. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, no, you've already moved. So, the, yeah, the, the no, entangles... I, I mean, it stays there. So, <laughs> right. But it's, it's that way. And the horde is oh, coming okay. from that way. Okay. Uh, I, I have pincer moved, you fuckers. Okay. Uh, We're in the pinch, is what's happening. Yes. And you are now up, and Azari is dragging you in with Peck Peck. I'm just uh, going with Azari. <laughs> Azari, Peck Peck, and Ingve. The horde is at the ladder. They don't seem to grasp the fact that it is used for climbing. So they're just. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> Dave and Rakir, <laughs> you are, are running. Some of the horde have branched off and are ah, ah, running at you. Rakir <laughs> and Dave, perception check. Uh, 19. <laughs> Only the kids are going to catch them and eat them. <laughs> You'll just see a, a headband hanging out of one of the mouths. <laughs> Rocky, Rocky Road. <laughs> so 19 from Dave, what Rocky Rockier get? Perception. Rockier. Rockier, perception check. Oh, that's a 22. Both of you hear this <coughs> god-awful screech. I mean, it is echoing. As you look up, uh, Falcor the Luck Dragon, only it ain't Falcor the Luck Dragon, rounds the corner just as you reach the other <coughs> intersection and swoops in. Uh, Azari, as you yank Ingve in, Give me perception. Ingve, you're scared to death. Your feet are going to get eaten. Give me perception at disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> disadvantage. Huh? Okay. It's more like it. 11. I'm wasting all my natural 20s on perception. 27. Azar, you begin to pull, and out of the corner of your eye, you see something coming. Ingve. Uh, there's a lot of strain on your uh, shoulder, uh, but you kind of look over to the side and you see this creature just hell bent for fury fly over Dave and Rakir's head, swoop in. Uh, it, it's a Chinese dragon, essentially, so there are no wings, or the wings are smaller. And it just comes in low and hot. Wow. Uh, Azari, give me a strength check to yank uh, Ingve's arm out of its socket. Ingve, uh, your shoulder is dislocated. That is a natural 20 plus 323. Oof. So I was like, snap! Eight hit points of damage, Ingve, but your feet get sucked in inside the building. It's okay, I can fix it. Just <laughs> as you feel a, a whoosh go by. Uh, Rakir and Dave, you're like, holy fucking shit, what is that? And it goes through the horde like a wrecking ball. We'll call this Luck Dragon Miley Cyrus. And it just sends these creatures, hey, Miley Cyrus, assholes, elbows, and broken arms everywhere before it just shoots straight up into the air. And kind of curves to the right where the god statue was. Uh, Rakir and Dave, you notice the horde is now in disarray. They are now scrambling and they are in full retreat, except for three of them, which are unfazed because they did not get struck and they're because the smell of Ingve's shit coming out uh, oh, is a So they're over so. at the ladder? Yeah, they are at the ladder. You guys are at the other end of the alley. Uh, as you guys were running, you notice there was a set of stairs midway from where the initial encounter was to the other. So about the middle of the block, there were stairs going up. Your friends went up. You think they're in 
there. I don't know. Oh, by the way, Rock here, uh, they devoured your newfound footwear. So yeah, so I'll I'll um run back over to those three going uh, uh, and uh I'll um stop 30 feet away, throw a dart. And then, uh, and then close the rest of the distance that I can. So next round, I'll be in melee range. Okay. Okay. Dave, Dave what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to get up there as soon as I can. Okay. Uh, Rock here outruns here. Rock here. Dark time. Oh, that's going to be a dot on bottom. That's, the, that's an 11. Yeah. Uh, 11 is not good enough. Uh, I can that, hack a javelina. That, that dart is going to be in in the pit of darkness uh azari and dave what do you guys want to do i want to huck a javelin at one of them suckers sure do a one so you can hit rock here in the back of the head that'd be not awesome. quite a one that's a 17 that hits um that's going to be nine points of piercing damage Shunk. Okay. azari you are inside ingve is going to be just fine. His oh. arm is in a question mark inverted. <laughs> uh, I will uh, pull my bow back off and just fire off arrows at the uh, ones that are down there. I'll bonus action move my hunter's mark over. Pin cushion them. <laughs> Can you get it side to side wow. so it's hard for him to get through doorways? 17. Uh, Steve, Steve so Martin. <laughs> uh, 15 points of piercing damage for the new one mm. fair enough <clears throat> Azari Dave Rakir one of them has figured out <laughs> and begins to climb up Ingve. Yeah, yeah. Heck, heck, is is holding a door shut on the opposite wall. Help! 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 <laughs> uh, Ingve, uh, you're up. Ingve casts cure wounds on himself. <laughs> Can you do it appropriately <laughs> with one arm? I think I can. So. Roll a d20. I will roll a d12. Okay. <laughs> 11. 3. Uh, yes, you cast healing. Okay. Uh, your arm is still out of its socket, and one of these guys is going to have to Mel Gibson it in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, Rick here volunteers. I'll do it. You just jump off the building, maybe. New round. Uh, Rock here, you have closed distance. There are two on the deck, one climbing the ladder. Azari is peek, peek, peek. Uh, Dave's javelin has gone over your shoulder and successfully struck one of them. You know he's coming up behind you. You're up, Rock here. All right, I will uh, use my quarter staff to bludgeon the one that that um, Dave hit, and then I'll use a bonus action uh, to make an unarmed strike. So that's my normal thing, you know. Bonus action. I mean, strike with the quarter staff, followed up with a roundhouse kick. Sure. It's a seven, that'll be a twelve with the quarter staff. Probably not. Oh, yeah. still it's twelve bits with okay. and uh, unarmed strike. No, the Roundhouse kick misses. Okay. Um, how much damage? That's <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be three hit points of damage with my um, with my quarter staff. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit pissed. Uh, mm, Azari, I'll let you go first as okay. Dave uh, closes the gap. I will uh, bonus action move my hunter's mark to the one that's climbing up. And I will fire on that one uh, using a sharpshooter. Mm -hmm. That'll hit. That's a uh, 
23. Uh, 19 to hit. Sure. Okay. That is eight. Oh, hold on. Um, 12, 22 points of piercing damage. One to two, it falls on a friend. Three to four, it falls on a friend. Five or six, lands on Rock here. <laughs> uh, no shit. Five. <laughs> you want to be closer to death, Rock here. I'm just showing you the ropes. Rock here, as your leg plants after missing the kick, you think, ah, shit. Come on up. <laughs> Take three hit points of damage and make a strength save. Oh, man. A strength save. Uh, that'll be um, an 18 on my strength save. Uh, you are moved to one side, but you are not knocked prone. Dave, there's fucking bodies falling out of the sky. What do you want to do? Cool. Um Dave wants to hit one, preferably the one with the javelin. Sure. Got to get that javelin back. Yep. Uh, uh, let's see. That's going to be a 18 to hit. Uh, eight and Sorry, six. yours is dead, by the way. 14 slashing and seven radiant. Uh, Dave, you kill uh, the second one. Ingve. Uh your arm is still dislocated. Your hit points are back. Peck Peck is screaming for help. Uh, and you can see the door. Uh, <laughs> oh, and there's, there's pounding and shit going on. What do you want to do? Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I'm going to help Peck Peck and just throw my back into the door, try to knock my shoulder back into place. Um. Uh, Give me a d20 roll. Okay. I, I too am rolling a d20. Get him, Mel Gibson. <laughs> yeah. 15. 16. Oh, uh, <laughs> it, oh God, that really it hurt. hurts like hell, work. but only take one hit point. You are now bracing the door. Uh, you are crying. Uh, the door is no longer thumping in, though, with the weight of both of you. Uh, you seem to have secured this area. Uh, as the tears blind you, you can see Azari just plinking shit left and right. Uh, top of the order, Rakir. Uh, there's only one left. There's no horde on either side. What do you want to do? Um, I'm going to... Um... Same thing this time, bonus action, roundhouse kick, um, action to uh, to a hit with the quarterstaff. That will not hit with the quarterstaff. The bonus action will hit, so that, that's only a D4 plus three. Mm -hmm. But that's seven hit points of bludgeoning damage with my uh, kick in the back of the head. Teeth scatter everywhere as you knock its jaw off. It falls to the ground. It is still alive, but its uh, dark-colored blood is just coming out like a small river. It, ap it appears to be incapacitated, uh, but you aren't sure. Uh, odd, Dave, even Azari. Two, Azari, what do you want to do? Uh, Azari will shift to the door and help them bray and just help them brace. There's a lot of debris in the room. Uh, maybe you can move some of that over. But oh, yeah. For now, yeah, you, you can start to look or, or you can brace either one. He'll he'll start to look for like debris or like a desk or, or something like a stretch to push over there. Dave, uh, the coup de gras is up to you. Split it in half. 16 plus 6, 22. Oh, golly. Uh, let's see. That's 13, 19 slashing and two points of radiant. Down it goes. Yes. Uh, perception check rock here. Perception check Dave. This is 17. 18. 
Uh, both of you know that the disassembled group has reassembled and it's headed this way again. Up, up. Uh, both of you, acrobatics or uh, athletics, your choice. Athletics. That's a 22 on my acrobatics. It's a 24. Uh, you both climb up, 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 and in. Uh, all five of <coughs> you are inside. Uh, uh oh. Oh, there he is. <laughs> uh, can, we, can, can we remove that ladder or is it bolted? It, is it seem tremendously secure? It is tremendously secure. But uh, as you get in there, Azari is Bob Vila and he's collecting a lot of debris. He's helping brace uh, the door that Ingve and Peck Peck are. There's still more debris, old mattress, pea stain. Uh, you can block off the window if you want uh, with some of the debris. It's up to you guys. Is this, there are no other exits other than the door? Correct. Otherwise, you guys would all be dead. All right. Well, um, yeah, I'll try to take a mattress and, uh, I mean, no, I, I don't. I, I want to know if they're if they're on the way up because I don't want to be surprised. Sure. Um, You're gonna hang out and watch. Not not where I can be seen, right? I'm gonna pull back and try just to tell everyone to you know be quiet because the horde has reorganized itself. Shut maybe up. they'll be see quiet. us. <laughs> but maybe they won't see us and then go away. Okay, uh, the horde is feasting on its dead below. This is wrong. It's wrong. And with that, we will call it a night. Uh, <laughs> Ingve, uh, somebody gets to punch you in the shoulder and cause you more pain. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, you're just going to dangle limply. You guys are all covered in guts and goo uh and at the door the pounding is becoming less prevalent as azari secures it with debris uh for the moment Anybody? you guys are safe in your Long rest oh. uh azari what'd you think that was good i wasn't ready for the uh world war z the extra yeah and then the uh then the uh celestial dragon coming out of the sky to uh destroy horde but not help but not super help you lots mean of the, help need us. you mean the bbg yeah yeah <laughs> uh the dice giveth and the dice taketh away this time uh i was less than happy but you know that shit happens uh rock here what'd you think i'm scared I normally, uh, you, you I, I normally be. like to, I, I, no, I normally like to think I have some handle of the situation, but this is all quite overwhelming for uh, for, for little Rock here. Fair enough, uh, Lefty Ingve. <laughs> I'm just uh, Lefty. I'm he just, could sing the blues. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in pain. <laughs> enough. Yes, you are. <laughs> And that was priceless. If only Rock here would have been knocked from, that would have been so much better. I would have chewed off an <laughs> ear. <laughs> and finally, Dave, what'd you think? I was really happy I didn't hit Rock here with that javelin. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, somehow dropping Rock here in the midst of three zombies by, you know, probably would have been on brand. That, yeah, uh, on brand. I, I would not have shed a tear. Folks, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archives. If you want to shoot shit with us, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, the link is down there. If you want to play on a one-shot like next Saturday or be on the talk show this Tuesday, Mobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, which I forgot to mention earlier. So if you need any dice, uh, go ahead and hit them up on Twitter, at Pirate Dog Dice. And don't forget, if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like... Well, our stinks right now, but uh, try some adventure sense. Uh, and don't forget, they are trying to get the Kickstarter 
all squared away and get everybody who uh, chipped in uh, oh, their fulfillment. Uh, so that is also good. Folks, tomorrow we may have a Margu campaign. I'm not sure. Uh, I got the notice out late. So if you aren't doing anything about 4.15, uh, look us up. Uh, if not, we hope you have a happy Halloween, just like this little terrifying event in the land of your folks. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you for joining us. Kiss and wave, boys. Mwah. Bye, everybody.